Hi, what I have here is a Pioneer SX 939 stereo receiver. It is rated at 70 watts per channel and was built in 1974. I replaced all the electrolytic capacitors, 77 of them, 31 transistors. I installed these LED bulbs behind the dial and the meters. Replace these mica insulators on the output transistors with these silicon ones. I'm going to put this thing through a little test. Let me show you what I got here. Got my input set to auxiliary, my speakers to the C speakers. Back there, I got a pair of dummy loads hooked up to my C speakers. Having an oscilloscope. Function generator set at 1K, uh, AC voltmeter, I have another AC voltmeter here hooked up to my function generator, reading the voltage output of that, and a kilowatt meter just to show how much power this unit's consuming. Okay, I'm going to start off and turn the volume all the way up. That's volume all the way up. I volt meters reading 25 volts AC. And the kilowatt meters just low under 300 watts. Uh, what that tells me is the power output of this unit. Watts law says voltage square divided by resistance, 8 ohms. And it comes out to about 78 watts. And the book does say it'll do 78 watts at a thousand hertz. Now I got my function generator set at 20 hertz. And we'll see what the bass does here. This bass turned up all the way. Bass turned down all the way. Uh, let's go up to about 60 hertz. From 20 to 60 hertz is sub bass. Turn the base all the way up here, space all the way up, base all the way down. Trouble has no effects in this range. Now the base frequencies will go from 60 hertz to 250 hertz. Right now I'm at 100 hertz. Turn the base up all the way, base down all the way. And try to hit 250. Just about 250. Base up all the way. Base down all the way. Now trouble has very low effect in this area. Now the low mid range we run from about 250 to 500 hertz. I got my meter set at right around 400, 411. And the base has a low effect here. Base all the way down, base all the way up. This is the treble all the way up, treble all the way down. Now mid range frequencies run about 500 hertz to 2000 hertz. Right now I'm at 700 hertz. Base all the way up has low effects. Base all the way down doesn't have much effect. Treble all the way up, not too much effect. Treble all the way down, not too much effect. Let's go up to about 1,000. It's right around 1,000. Base all the way up, base all the way down doesn't do much. Treble all the way up, treble all the way down. And let's go up a little higher. And about 15. Bass doesn't do much. Treble starts doing a little more in this range. 
Uh, let's try to hit 2,000. And base all the way up does very little. Base all the way down does very little. Treble all the way up. Treble all the way down. Uh, let's go through the higher ranges. Right now I'm about 7K. Treble up. Treble down. Uh, about 11K. Treble up. Treble down. And about 16K. Level up, treble up, treble down. And let's hit about 20k. Treble all the way up, treble all the way down. Right now I'm putting a square wave through the unit. Got my function generator set at 1000 Hertz. And the square wave looks good. Good rise time, good fall time. I'm going to turn the base up all the way and see how it affects the square wave. The base down all the way. So trouble up all the way, trouble down all the way. Now, the square wave tests really has nothing to do with the sound of the stereo it's just a test showing that transistor circuits are working good and everything is as you expect it to be so this thing did test quite fine everything came out the way I expected it to right now I gotta set the FM got my A speakers on if I think about you Responds. Trouble responds. Balance is good. So the AM. An unthinkable fact. The missed extra point. I'm announcing this. Hey, it works. Into the flowing water. Go back to FM. with a Larson Dormant. Don't pick up much here. New Bionics and see how much flatter it makes your belly. Think is right for you. This thing gets quite loud. All the switches are clean and all nice and quiet, no noise. Muting works. High cut, low cut. I do have two sets of speakers up here. We'll drive two speakers. Nobody belts it out quite like Billy Idol right there, hooping and hollering with the Rebel Yell 97 1 there. But I won't drive three. Try to play three, it'll shut you down. And Jerry Rafferty, City to City, was number one for him in 78. That's Baker Street and going to California Zep from number four. It's Bob Stroud. This stereo came out quite nice. And I'd like to thank all the guys on Audio Karma. For all their knowledge and all their help and thanks for watching the video